folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. The wind is really whipping through these woods this morning, so I've tried to get the camera in a pretty well protected spot from the wind blowing across the mics. Hopefully, it won't affect this video. What I wanted to show you today is a quick tip or trick on what I consider to be the best no external frame pack harness. And this is the pack harness that I teach in the pioneering class here at the Pathfinder School and I think that it's the most comfortable, the most versatile and the easiest to use system. And I'm going to show you how to set it up right now. Alright, so this is the system on the pack and this would be the back and this would be the part that's against your body and this would be on the outside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart real quick and I'm going to show you how I put this together. Most of the time I try to carry at least two pieces of web strapping with me and this is one inch tubular webbing. This is black, you can get it in any color you want. <coughs> I try to carry two of these that are 25 feet long. And this is just a piece of paracord and we'll talk about that in a minute. All right? So what I generally do with this stuff, and I've got a figure eight knot tied in here that's been in it for a while. That's the last Pioneer class, actually. So let me pull that knot out. So I've got a 25-foot piece of webbing here, which boils down to, for me, four poles of webbing at double arm's length and then cut off and melted on both ends. And what I do is I pull that until I find the middle and I have a bite or a loop in that middle. Now once I've got that middle bite, what I do is I take that bite and I put it over my neck like this. And I let that bite hang down until it is right at crotch level. And I just adjust it up like a necktie until that thing is right at crotch level. And I keep that spot with my hand. And then I just come out and I tie a figure eight knot at that spot in my lawn or in my web. So I'll just tie a quick figure eight knot in that. Just like this. And now I'm ready to utilize this as a pack harness. Alright. Now we have our harness ready to utilize. I carry my pack or my bedroll wrapped in my oil cloth tarp and I just fold it over three times and everything in the center. I keep some dry fire tinder in here, a spare pair of socks, hygiene. That's the stuff that goes in here. Stuff that I'm not going to have to get at right away, but stuff I want to keep dry for an emergency like fire tinder. I fold this part into an envelope shape like this to fold it over to give myself a flap and now everything inside is going to be nice and dry and waterproof. That's going to be the start of my pack. Now I'm going to take my strap and I'm going to wrap my pack with the strap to create a harness with this strap. So the first thing I want to do is I want this knot on the outside because I'm going to pull that toward my back. So I'm going to take that thing just down about the middle of this flap and I'm going to wrap it around the pack just like this. I'm trying to keep it pretty well centered. When I come over this back side I'm just going to cross it over tighten it down good and tight smash everything down bring that down closer to the bottom about two-thirds of the way down cross it around and come over here and do the same thing again just like this tighten that down flip it back around to the front and on the front side I'm gonna tie that down but this time I'm gonna put a knot in it so I'll put my knee on that thing.
Make sure everything's good and short up and tight. Put your knee right in the middle of it. And tie a square knot in it. Doesn't really matter whether it's a square knot or a granny knot, to be honest with you. Now, these two tails are going underneath the pack. This is going over the top of your shoulders. And then we'll use this piece of paracord. Okay. So now pick this thing up. And that knot that you tied first with this loop in it is going to go to the outside. So you're going to drop this thing over your back just like this and hold on to that loop. And you want to make sure that that loop is good and over the top of that pack and that that pack is turned so that it's resting on your back this direction like this. Okay? And then pull that loop down and let it settle onto your shoulders. Just like this. Alright? Now, you've got two tails basically hanging off the bottom of this pack. And you're going to take one of those tails underneath this corner and bring it up through the loop here. Holding on to this loop, you're going to take the other one throw it off to that side. You're going to pull it up underneath the other corner and put it up through the loop, just like this. Now what I've done is I've created a waist strap and two shoulder straps. Now I can use this to hike it up on my back where it belongs and pull everything secure and then pull this apart come back around the back side and that becomes my waist belt and again you can tie some type of quick release knot in this thing like a bow knot or a one side release or you can tie a knot in that's up to you now what you've got is you've got a pack frame that is sorry no frame harness that is pulling the pack against your back in the middle so it's not going to snag when you're ducking under stuff. You've got something that's riding tight against your back that's form-fitting to your back as you walk. And you can take that piece of paracord that we had, that loop, put it on one strap, put a lark's head in it, come over to the other strap, pull that thing, to give you that modern backpack feel. Of having that cinch strap on your chest to pull that thing off your shoulders. Basically, you're ready to rock and roll at that point. Guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me out here today for this quick tip or trick on how to make a no frame pack harness. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.